teeny tiny motorhomes with twin beds in the rear. That's what people are asking for. And that is what East to West delivered with their all new brand of B plus motorhome. This is a 2024 East to West Olivia model 23 TK. We're taking a look at the outside features, inside features, giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about this motorhome. And we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. Not quite a world debut because we did show this during RV open house, but it is our very first time seeing this unit and reviewing it. And let me tell you something, for a B plus motorhome, I am in love with what I'm seeing. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good. Guys, I've always really liked the East to West product, right? Um, especially when they first came out with their towables, it really felt like they were trying to do more and try to save money at the same time. So I'm so excited to see uh, how they're incorporating that with their motor home, especially on this Ford Transit chassis. The Ford Transit chassis, Will, as you guys know, is one of my absolute favorites. Yes. Let's begin. All right. First and foremost, armless awning with LED lights. Uh, it's pretty windy here, so we're not gonna- Yeah, it is windy today. I'm not paying for a new awning this week, Will. I hear ya. Model A is the 23 TK. The actual tip to tip length, it's 25 feet, 11 inches, okay? Okay. This sits on the Ford Transit chassis. It's a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, 310 horsepower. It has a Flex Power 4000i generator, 35 gallons of fresh water, 30 gallons of both gray and black water, and badass awesome in America with a 4,000 pound hitch. So it does have a generator? Yes. Oh yeah, propane generator. Ah, yes. okay, okay. That's why we can't have a generator on. I see. Yep. Right, right over here, Will. Again, transit chassis, B plus motorhome. This is going to be one of your best rides, you know, up there with the Mercedes B plus type. Ford does a really good job as well. It's a small van. Okay? Yep. The reason why we call this a B plus is partly because of transit, because of a smaller bunk over the cab, because of a small motorhome. You want to get technical? It's, it's a class, class C. C. Cuts it's on a cutaway chassis. Yep. The market calls us a B plus. YouTube likes it when we call it a B plus. So you know what I'm gonna call it? A B plus. But it's classy. Yep. Drives fantastic. Nice mirrors. Really nice. And here's the thing, Will. This much wider on both sides than a traditional. Exactly. Okay. And taller. And then look at these tires, Will. They're hand cooked. Dynapros. I love those. LT two two five. That 75R16 with nice open ribs. There you go. When you take a step back, you're seeing the nice squared off flippered windows. You're seeing this automotive style paint job. Beautiful, perfect, and fantastic. It looks great. Sure does. Right here, we do have cameras in the motorhome. Nice. Down at the bottom for your left side and right side. Just to the east to west, they don't have a sticker on it, Will. So uh -oh. I'm not gonna say 100%, but I'm gonna say 99% sure. Dave Asdell. Okay. Asdell's the composite that sits behind the fiberglass and it will never delaminate on you. That's right. I don't see any reason why anybody, one, I don't know why people, why 100% of the market isn't using Asdell one. And I don't know why somebody would be using it on some products and not on their newer products. Right. But again, I'm sure they're using it, without but. Without the sticker though, I don't want to. I, I hear you. I don't want to make claims, you know? Asdell is very hard to work with. That's why some manufacturers like to cut it and form it and all that. Really? That's why some manufacturers don't. I hear you. And it's, I believe it's more expensive. Sometimes hard to get. Yeah, you want to know it's more expensive delamination. Yep. Right here, you got power and coax and you don't get delamination with Asdell. That's what right. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Good storage here. There you go. Really nice slam latch door. I love that click. Yep. Again, the armless awning with wind sensor. Oh man, uh, pull a little bit. Dang that it. There you go. You can see inside that storage there. Okay. Other side of the storage there. And we might be able to see it on that side as well. Yes, sir. Again, nice slam latch doors. Again, 4,000 pound hitch. Don't tow anything behind yeah. this. You're going to like a little cargo trailer or something like that. These small B pluses, small class C's. They get overloaded very quick. And they're made to be small and compact. Yep. That's the whole point. Nice bump for your stinky slinky. 
backup camera integrated in that rear tail light, and a ladder to get up on the one piece uh, PVC roof. I'm actually not gonna climb this one today, Will. Uh, it's getting a little late in the day. It's been hot, hot, hot all day. I hear you. We gotta get here in the morning next time. Right. I'll climb up on the roofs in the morning. Right there. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If I fall and you're there to see it, I'm only gonna ruin half your day. Right. So I wanna do it in the morning so I can like ruin your whole I day. I hear you. Propane tank. Okay. And then Miss Jen, ding. Please put all the specifications right there for everybody who is watching on television. Right there, that's where we dump our tanks. Okay. So Gotti, tank this water heater. I'm actually not black, mad that this is black. Because it contrasts a little bit. Exactly, exactly. Here's all our water hookups. Very clean and organized. Black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. 30 amp service right here. Very nice, clean and organized. Cool. And then coming on down, we have your hookup for your black tank. Nice. And then right there, Will, is your flex power generator right there. So it's flex power. It should work off either one. Possibly, Will. Okay. Uh, I'm not Maybe there wasn't enough gas in it to exactly, start it. Exactly. I couldn't. I could, well, I know it's 112 degrees. I couldn't get it started. So I hear you. Well, Will, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. Okay. What? Could have just been user error. Could have been. Take a look at that. All right. Starting up front. Again, you have that nice Ford Transit chassis. Bunk over the cab here. Super spacious in here, even with the slides in. If the slide gets broken, you're not stuck. Kitchen space right here. All the way in the back. Are these are, uh, is the bedroom sorry and then next to that is the bathroom okay well yeah 96 degrees in here I hear you so let's get it let's get things heated up a little bit get the slide house out and show everybody this awesome motorhome. All right. Camping season is finally here, and that's why we teamed up with our partners, Waggle, which is the absolute best RV pet temperature monitor system in the industry. The absolute best part about camping isn't about the destinations, and it's not about bringing your home with you. It's the fact that you get to bring your furry best friends camping with you. Yeah, guys, especially with me and Jen full-timing, as you, as you probably know, there are times when we're out and about and we can't take the dogs with us, but we need that peace of mind that our dogs are going to be okay back in the RV. So here's exactly what Waggle is. Waggle is an RV pet temperature monitoring system that requires no Wi-Fi. Right. It, it actually works off the Verizon network. All you do is plug it in with three easy steps. You find a spot on the wall, you plug it in, and you even have a power cord. So what it does is it monitors the humidity in your RV. It's also monitoring your temperature that you can check with the Waggle app on your phone. But not only that, it syncs to your iWatch, right? What's that called? An Apple iWatch? Apple Watch. An Apple Watch, okay? And then not only that, it also notifies you if you lose power, and that's the big one. Also, those notifications are coming to you via text message from Verizon, so you know it's always going to work. Click our link down below and use promo code MAT60 for 60% off your order. Again, thank you so much to Waggling for sponsoring our video. And you know, speak. Okay guys, so it is the, what is it? Flex Pro generator? Power, yeah, Flex, Flex power. power generator. So we got it on, it'll work off of your, uh, where is the button anyways? Right there, it'll yep. work off of your propane or the coach uh, fuel as well. That's great, so how does it do that? I don't know, but I do know that if you can, I would recommend running it off the propane. Propane's a cleaner f fuel, so it'll just help keep, you know, things cleaner and last them longer. Perfect. Here's all our switch out buttons. And then right here, we got a 99 degrees yep. set to 33 degrees. Let's see how fast we can cool this sucker down. Okay. All right. And as you can see, Will, single slide out. Again, van life, B plus life. Having this in made no difference in the world. Right. Or having it out doesn't make a difference either. You right. Know? All right. We're starting up front here. 
Guys, we're in the transit, okay? We get 11, 12, 15 miles per gallon, depending on who, what, where, and well. Right now, it says 11 miles per gallon, okay? But it's been sitting for a while, so yeah. once you get going. We have nice, and, you know, a delivery driver drove it, did it, and so they get paid off the job, so they're driving fast. Yep. Nice mirrors, able to adjust them this way. Cup holder here. Here's the thing, guys. You gonna sit here? Sure. This is my point of view. I still have a good feeling on where the nose is. Oh, yeah. I got some storage right up here. I'm sitting elevated, but not too elevated like the Ram ProMaster chassis. I got a nice steering wheel control, little digital dash cues, lane assist right here. Uh, right here's our cameras. So it doesn't work integrated into this, but this has Apple CarPlay, navigation, Android Auto, you can connect your phone. Yep, all that good stuff. Cup holders. How do you how do you feel right there, big guy? So people always ask me, like with these chassis, which one's better, or if this is better than that. Um, the Ford Transit is definitely better than the E Series, a little bit. Bro. Okay, it's tell, not, tell it's me not about crazy. it. Crazy. Got a little more leg room, a little bit more knee room here. What is harder though is getting in. You know, this space is a little bit more narrow. Really? Yep. It's a little harder for me to get in and out of here. Okay, perfect. You got cup holders there. And then um, both seats do actually swivel around. Yep. So if you hold this for me, just like that. Okay. Oh, let me. Uh... Cargo carrying capacity. One thousand two hundred seventy-five pounds. Yep. Okay. And then, thank you, sir. Uh huh. When you climb on out, I do want to show everybody this bunk over the cab. And it doesn't look like those seats swivel well, do they? Uh, I, I wasn't seeing it. No, I don't think so. Nope. What's this? Oh, that's for yeah. a baby seat, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, fill that in for us, sir. Okay. Bunk over the cab. I believe it's only 250 pounds on these. Um, without the sticker, I don't like saying an exact weight. Yeah. But small bunk over the cab, okay? Okay. Got some netting there for storage. I really wouldn't it's probably even there. use this for sleeping. I wouldn't either. There this is a ladder. Storage. But again, it's just so hard. Somebody can't sit up or nothing. But if it's a little kid, you know, it'll be getting the job done just yeah. fine. Right here is your TV. It does sit above the doorway. And it does sit conveniently across from a sofa. Now, this is a great sofa, okay? It is. It's comfortable. Jack knives down but it's one of the most comfortable jackknife downs. This is the same exact sofa that I had in my East to West. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it for a certain reason, because Unigirl, me sitting here, Unigirl was just a little too big. Ah, uh, okay. So if you have a dog that likes to sit up with you, might not be the best. Here's your shades here. No, we're not a huge fan of these shades. I'm not, yeah. Will's not. Here's what I will say. You know what they won't do while you're driving down the road? Rattle. They won't. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. Yeah. Correct. We do got seatbelts here. Also, right here, Will, we do have a place for you to uh, set up a table. Yeah, I love that. Power and USB underneath there. Great storage here. For sure. And good, good amount of storage there. Okay. Very, very nice unit. And you even have a nice little sunroof there. Okay. No dinette area. Nothing like that. Small, simple, compact. So, Will, show us this kitchen. All right. Right here, you got nice storage. Next to that is the Greystone microwave. Oh, and it Pop it open, Will. Close. Nope, people want to see it. Come on, Will. There we yeah, go. All right. Little Greystone microwave right there. Nice window on your camping side right here. And again, you kind of have those same blinds. So daytime or nighttime. A little bit of countertop space. You see what's missing? What's that? There's no cooktop. Oh, no, no. Well, hang on a second. Open that drawer. Maybe that's where it is. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. The removable induction cooktop. Yep. So uh, that's kind of weird. No, but, man, that's van life. Yeah, that's van life. Just okay, keep on going. Uh, Show us the sink. Nice single bowl sink here. Yep. With extension faucet. And this is great, actually, here. There you go. That is the perfect flip up countertop. Okay. There's, they got a latch. Right yeah, here. when you latch it in. Yeah. And even that solid surface. Storage right there. Okay. Drawers. Yes. Drawers. Drawer 
drawers. Man. And then over here, nice cabinet space right there. Yes, sir. And then a little Norcold refrigerator. Very nice. And freezer drawer. Very nice. Keep on going. This is a little bit of closet space. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. Of course we can, Will. But you could also definitely use this as like pantry space if need be as well. Okay. Couple drawers here. And finishing it up right there. Not bad at all. Nope. Then when you move this, you definitely need to maneuver a little bit with van life. You do, yep. Okay, we got this here. Oh man, come on in. Okay. Thanks. That's not blinding me. It's actually not bad once you open up the doors. Uh, it, it isn't, but this is the worst shower ever. They did the same exact mm -hmm. thing as the Vegas 24.1 with this shower. Yep. I think it's atrocious. Um, you know, a lot of times some people think I pick on some brands, and we love East to West. Oh, we yeah. love Tony Young. Hey, Tones. Hey, Dole. I hate the shower tones. Here's the sink. Okay. Little baby sink. Not a fan of the shower. But you know what? Again, it's like, here's what I always say when it comes to B pluses. When you compare this to a class C, it sucks. When you compare it to a B, it's then this is amazing. phenomenal. Because yeah. you don't get this in B vans. Right. So everything is relative. Yep. Pour some toilet. Again, this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Womp womp. But again, you have a freaking bathroom in a 23 foot motorhome. You're not pooping in the shower like You're not in, pooping in, in the in shower. Class B. Oh man. Did where do you? we leave it? I didn't grab it. Where do we leave it? Well, forgot to liquefy. So make sure you guys don't forget your liquefied. If you guys aren't familiar with liquefied, that is our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. All you got to do is go to liquefiedrv.com forward slash free bottle to get your first bottle free. All you got to do is pay $5.99 for shipping. We're only doing that 10,000 times. And, well, I believe we're at like 8,000 free know, bottles. I know, we're getting away. There. So you guys better hurry the heck up. And, Will, yeah? you better hurry the heck up and get yours. I know. Because you forgot it here. I sure did. Was that a good improvise? It was, yeah. Okay, come on out here. Okay. It is a little tight in there. So let me figure out how this schematic works. All right. So first, well, I'm just gonna do that. Twin beds in the rear. Yep. This is what everybody wants in van life. So many people, like Will and I could go camping in this. Right. I could lay here, Will could lay there. And it's not weird. It's just people camping, using this as a normal vehicle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then you do have this cushion if you do want to make it a big bed. And, um, I mean, I can even do this if you have, like, a dog like me. You know, you know a girl, she could be laying here. You know, or or if you do want to sleep on a full king-size bed, you can do that, too. You can yep. really make it whatever you want. And then we got some storage above here. How do you like them apples? That's great storage there. Yes, it is. And then we got more storage here. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, you actually have a huge headboard. Did you notice that? I did. Uh, little cubby pockets, two windows for nice cross ventilation. Do you have power somewhere? Storage there. I got some power underneath there and power underneath okay. there. And power underneath nice. there. I got plenty of space. Obviously, I'm not all the way back. And then this unit does come with a huge TV. This is a 12 volt TV, so it will work off battery. And it's a smart TV that has Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime. There you go. Love that. And the AC is actually in the bedroom as well. That's something that I prefer. Some people aren't gonna like that because it's gonna be a little bit louder, but it's also gonna be a little bit colder. Yes. And I'll take loud and cold over hot and quiet. For sure. And then uh, there's no storage underneath here because the storage, you do access it from the outside. Okay. Well, Will, we forgot something. Do you know what that is? Yes. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Thanks for not interrupting me. You're welcome. I was trying to be... Logical. Okay. Melodical, logical, something like that. MSRP on this unit here is $149,674. Will MSRP. Something else I forgot to 
mention about B pluses. B pluses MSRPs are the sale price of normal B vans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, and a lot of it cheaper. Oh yeah. And guess what? What? You multiply that with us partnering with General RV. Do you know what that means? I do. Thirty three percent off to a sale price of ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's amazing. That's fan freaking fantastic. And if you guys are interested in buying this east to west or any motor home in the world, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Sir William, and a member of our team will reach out to you, and they will help you with one thing and one thing only, and Will, that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. With that said, Will, that's the review. It's time we give people three things that we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. What do you want to do first? Let's do three things we dislike first. Okay. Dislike number one, back-to-back -back motorhome episodes. It's okay. Sue me, it's fine. Well, we have one outside. Oh, we do? Yeah. Oh, well, let's kick into that one. Well, dislike number one for me, as beautiful and organized as this is, this is a motorhome. I want all of these enclosed. I hear you, I agree. Don't like how they're all exposed. Give it to me enclosed. That's dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? That was dislike number one. Will, dislike number two, back to back. Yep. Bonk over the cab. Yeah. I don't like it for sleeping. I don't see anybody being able to sit up in here, even little kids. It's gonna be used for storage. I don't know how much it can hold because there's no sticker and I don't wanna clarify and tell somebody with right, being right. wrong. I'm just not a huge fan. I actually think, especially this clientele, give me a nice smooth profile. I think right, that would look better. Right. That's dislike number two. And then, Will, what's dislike number three? Dislike number three for me is going to be this area right here is very tight. No, it's only tight for you and me. Maybe. Um, if you have this door open like that and you have a guest shower and you can't get to your fridge. Yep. You know, if you have this it's, open. It's tight. You can't open those doors. Just squeezing through here is very tight. And that shower was pretty not good. It was, yep. Well, Will, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna say the bathroom. Okay. Love the bathroom. Love, love, love the slide out. Love the bedroom. Love all the space in here. It's this much wider than a normal right, area. Yeah. And again, if you please understand me with what I'm telling y'all. Please understand me. If you're shopping for a B van, then B pluses like this are freaking big, spacious, and amazing. That's right. If you're shopping for a Class C motorhome, when you come into this, you're going to be disappointed. Absolutely. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So it just depends on which way. How are you getting introduced into a Class B, B plan, B plus van life? Yep. That's number one. Will, what's love number two? Love number two for me. Oh. I don't know, that might be dumb. No, say it. I'm gonna say the chassis. I, I know. love riding in this chassis. That was my number three, so okay. keep going with it. Um, I love the Mercedes as well, but especially if you don't wanna deal with diesel and DEF and all that, and it's more expensive. You know, this, in my opinion, rides pretty similar, maybe just as good. Uh, you have a lot more legroom and it's cheaper. Yeah, love that. And well, that price definitely should be one of the likes with only 90. I agree, K. yeah. But uh, in like number three, Will, is gonna be the twin beds in the rear. Yep. That's what people want with van life. Absolutely. You know, they don't want a queen size bed, king size bed. They don't want a fold up bed. They want the twin beds that they can use multi-use for, have multiple people, maybe somebody kicks in your family. And you know what, Will, a lot of people are gonna be buying this motorhome as just a commuter vehicle. You know oh yeah, saying? yeah. To get from, from one place to another and just be a lot more comfortable. That's right. Maybe because they're scared of flying or something. Right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this motorhome or any motorhome, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you and they will help you with one thing and one thing only. And Will, that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, what do you want to say? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is such a good coach at a phenomenal price. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike.
Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.